This is the worst. Beaten by some nameless sorcerer. My brother's gone. In revenge, a distant dream just ended then. Why did they pick me up? What is this senseless show of mercy? Is it just cruelty in disguise? Damn it. This... This is terrible. Mind telling me what the hell you're planning right now? Picking me up in this embarrassing position? Don't just smile and not say anything. I'll kill you if I have the chance. Why? Why do you think you, your kind, erased my brothers from existence? My family's gone. What do you expect from me? You think this act of peace or kindness changes anything? Idiot. <laughs> you think that would change me? Don't be a fool. You're so full of sunshine and rainbows. You were never cut out for a job like this, were you? <laughs> what do you mean I'm one to speak? What do you know about me? <laughs> you... You can't be serious. You think there's more for me to do? And what's that supposed to mean? Are you telling me you're going to do something about all this? <laughs> what empty words. <laughs> and just how would I believe you anyways? Even if I wanted to, why would you believe for a second? that I'm not just planning your downfall at the next possible run, and then chase after my revenge like I have been. You keep speaking like you know me. Why? <laughs> so, your abilities aren't just for combat, huh? So if I'm to believe you, You've spoken to the souls of my deceased family. <laughs> what does that matter? They want me to live, so what? I may respect them. I may love them. But I can't sit idly by and watch this happen. What? Live a normal life as a faux human, as Yuji does. <laughs> How pathetic. Just hiding away. Is that what you think I am? A coward? Or do you just think that I'm full of empty words in my revenge? No. Nothing I said is empty. I'll kill them. I will. Even if I believed you, and the words really were that, what makes you think I'm not too far gone? <laughs> Don't be stupid. Look at me. Do you really think someone like me has a place in this world? My sole purpose from birth was the same thing as them. But even then we formed a bond. Family. Something you humans loved so highly. And yet here we are. You likely with one and me without. <laughs> 
Is that supposed to garnish you sympathy? Or give me a place to latch on to? The fact that we're the same that way. That one choice different, not seeming to get through your head. I'm not like you. <sighs> your words are flowery. And possibly to someone weaker, with a much lesser resolve, it may sway them. But look at me. Even if you save me, there's nothing. Nothing, you fool. You think I'll stop? Give up like that? Don't fuck with me. Your attitude is starting to get on my nerves. The more I hear it, the more I want to kill you. Wouldn't it be a mercy at this point? You think that was my intention? <laughs> you think the whole point of my revenge was to die to be with them? You can prove that. No more than anyone else. So why do you look so confident? Why? <laughs> Shut up. Don't say another word. You know nothing. Nothing. <laughs> How long? Where are we? You're still persisting with this reformation. Are you even aware of what I am? Do you have any idea? More persistent. I'll give you that. Never quite noticed a human so persistent as you. Don't be foolish. I don't care about what happens next. Have I not made it abundantly clear my only goal is revenge, and the longer I live, the worse that festering desire will get. More to me, more to me, you keep insinuating that there's more to me. And what, pray tell? you see in me other than revenge. Of course there's pain. Even I've admitted that. Watching those you came into this world with lose themselves to eternity. It's terrifying, sad, and empty. Why would I tell you more than that? What possible reason do you think I have to trust you? <laughs> A fool's errand, what you're doing. There's no way you get through to me. <laughs> because I know myself too well. Too far gone. <laughs> or not far gone or not. Whichever you prefer to fit into your rhetoric. Now I can appreciate your conviction. You clearly feel very strongly about all this. It's endearing your passion. But to hear that they cried. They wept before they lost themselves. That makes the sense of apprehension dissipate like fog in the typhoon winds of the heart. 
What an absurd notion. That you would think that's poetic. Regardless of how you see it, I see things a vastly different way. And no matter how we can't see eye to eye, you, your persistence, it's not possible. I can't turn away from this. What don't you understand? Why won't you? <sighs> I'll even apologize for taking my frustration out on you. When, if anything, you've given me a second chance and my revenge, even though you insist that is not my fate. Why? What convinces you that my words aren't 100% sure? <laughs> because I have a human heart. <laughs> so that's your baseless sense of pride, knowledge, confidence, and otherwise. Because my heart is human. <laughs> That's something I've never even heard. How? What part of me resembles them other than the obvious? <laughs> We're made in your image. A being that doesn't covet you. <laughs> but instead replaces you. I know you're used to Yuji, that Itadori kid, he thinks we're backwards, then we can do the saving, somehow, <laughs> you're like him in that way, the more I talk to you, the less sense you make, now get to the point, or am I to be confined here? in your company. <laughs> it wouldn't surprise me, not even in the slightest, if only because I've seen it all before, flowery words followed by cruel actions. Where do you fit in? Where's your mercy that you spoke so highly of before? <laughs> <laughs> Is that it? That's your mercy. Because you care about me. I'm supposed to do what? Magically think revenge isn't my purpose anymore. Give up on my only reason. I still draw breath. <laughs> you mock me. But fair enough. Since I can't escape, I might as well. <laughs> Is that what you thought I would say? <laughs> Perhaps you're more fun to tease than I first anticipated. Your too honest demeanor is all the more easy to twist around to make believe a situation that was never meant to be. So why now? And why me? <laughs> you had me at the final blow, and yet here we are, standing like idiots in this place I don't even know where it is. What's the purpose other than your savior complex? Why? What exactly do you want to save in me? What exactly about me is worth saving so much that you'd go so far? Tell me. Tell me now. <sighs> That's it. The only thing you have in that flowery brain of yours 
is thinking about how I'd be tossing my life away. I know you don't believe I can achieve my revenge, and maybe I can't. But then why, if my sole purpose is revenge, why would you want me to stay around? <laughs> you presume to give me a new reason, then? How haughty of you, prideful, utterly insane. You do realize who I'm tied up in with, don't you? Your mortal enemy. We are mortal enemies. There's no chance that we could ever be anything else. I don't see what you see. And because of that, isn't that an innate point? Everything you've said is inane. Everything you've exclaimed for nothing. I'm not some human. <laughs> Our ways of existing are the opposite. You through life and I through death. So what makes you so sure we can relate on such a carnal, pure emotion as a new beginning? So what if they said that? So what if they cared about me? So what if they wanted me to live? <sighs> Their dying wishes might mean something to me, but to try and weaponize them to change me. <laughs> Isn't that just the worst? <clears throat> so that wasn't your intention, huh? Then, what, I'm disrespecting them? By chasing after revenge? Then what am I supposed to do? We were always together. Always together. Don't you get it? Hiding behind all that rage and resentment, there isn't anything left. You're searching for something that doesn't exist. Don't look at me like that. I'm not some sort of tragic victim. Have you not heard of what I've done? I'm responsible for so many things. Of course, everyone has their own moral compass, their own conscience. What makes you think I would change mine for you? Your words are empty, and your head too, for that matter. Hmm. Why are you so stubborn, idiot? What do you see in the senseless, baseless struggle? It's just... It's so empty. You can't actually think any of this would work. It's impossible. Surely you have to have more logic than that. More forethought. You... Don't, do you? <sighs> now, I almost pity you. Your efforts being wasted on someone who would never understand what you're trying to say. <sighs> Sweetheart. Honey. You... You can't. You can't fix everyone. You're not trying to. But you're trying to fix me. Why me? No. It can't be. You're... Don't... Harm yourself. I... This feeling... Impossible. You're... Also one of us. How? 
no. That's... <sighs> You're just like Yuji, I see. Only... You and I are far from related, so... If you think... You're endangering your life to prove a point. It would sway me. You're a bigger idiot than I thought. It's true, I have no grudge against you. But what does that matter now? You asked me to give up on that. You said you carried their last will. Their last wish on your cursed technique. You heard it. You related to me, and I'll thank you for that. But what I won't stand for, what I can't stand for at all, is that you would think that would be enough to make me you. You're so stubborn, you know that. How does anyone deal with you? To think you would help the humans, too. <laughs> I thought there were only ten. Ten of us. I thought there was even fewer, if you count, the ones I personally met. But to think there was extras of you. Of us, a kind, born through such cruel means. I'll apologize for just one thing, and that is for treating you as a senseless, idiotic human, even though you act the part. Instead, you're a senseless, Idiotic, death-painting womb without a single thought in your head. Clearly lost your purpose. <laughs> then again, the moment they find out, they'll turn on you. You're aware, aren't you? So what? You tried to take care of me, knowing... You're putting your life on the line for nothing. End me. Take my remains to them. And... What's that supposed to mean? You look so fierce when I suggest such thing. <laughs> I admit it feels good to have someone who still cares. Even a little bit. But you, being one of us, changes nothing. Live. Live and do more than I could. <clears throat> How was that for? So I'm the one being stubborn, yet you're the one helping me, a mortal enemy. Despite our birthright, one facing what is essentially our creator. With what? What conviction? Is it because you were raised with a human? Is it because you have developed your own moral scales? Either way, you can't protect me. Get over it. <laughs> and yet, I told you what to do. Now, be done with it. I'll subside my revenge. If I can save you. <sighs> Here. This will be the easiest way to avoid suspicion. This right here can end me quickly, efficiently. Not that you couldn't have already. You won the fight. I was at your mercy. 
So why did you choose mercy instead of ending this line of suffering? Why won't you do it? Do it already. I said do it before I change my mind and kill you too. There you are again, with the flowery thoughts and empty head. Why wouldn't I kill you? What possible reason would I care so much? And I had a change of heart. That much I'll give to you. Your putting your life on the line was stupid. But even then, It'll just work in your favor, looking like we had a battle to the death. You the victor, and me forgotten, like my brothers. Enough of this. This senseless caring won't change or bring them back. It won't put them, those who did them wrong, in the ground any faster. And even if I listen to your words, what is there really for me? You think I can just live happily ever after, like some fairy tale you no doubt got told as a child? <laughs> Don't spit in the face of my resolve, you absolute idiot. You have nothing but clouds in your head. You know that. It's frustrating. So stupid. Damn it. Your empty head is rubbing off on me. In the worst way. Logic is pointless around you. As is the rest of this mess. You've made me almost as stupid as you, considering even letting this all go on. Even if I lived, do you think I could ever forgive myself? <laughs> I'd expect nothing else from a flower-headed idiot like you. Such a simple line, making it seem like it's the easiest thing in the world. To let go of loved ones you've always been with. Of people, family. The only family I've ever had. You. Yeah. You have such idiotic words. I'd have to be a complete fool to believe a single one of them. And yet here I am, offering my life to such a fool. Pathetic. All of it's pathetic. You're really frustrating, you know that. You're empty head. In the flowery way you see this world. Not for its twisted impossibilities, but also for the way that the damned charisma seems to make me want more, to understand more, to feel more. You want me to exist for more than revenge. Then what if I hurt you? What if I steal from you? Don't you dare smile at me when I suggest those things. Don't you dare make it look so easy. You're nothing but a fool right now. Why don't you value your own self more? Come on. Be selfish already. I'm not here to lecture you on how to live your life, but if you're going to involve mine, 
Why can't you just... Why do you have to mean something to me so quickly? Why do you have to make me feel when I thought I was done with that? Don't you get it? It's easier to live for one singular, simple purpose of revenge. The details only make me waver. Why? Of course I know why. The details make me waver because some part of me was envious of the humans too. Clearly, you know more about that than me. As you've lived with them, seamlessly blending into their society. For what? What is your purpose? What is your reason for so many things? Spit it out. <laughs> there it is. The selfishness I would expect. You just don't want to be alone anymore, do you? <laughs> I suppose everyone feels that way. No matter where they start from, what they are, everyone wants someone. Being alone is the utmost drudgery, a pathetic end to a pathetic life. And instead, you crave something so much more visceral, vivacious, voracious at your nature. Now you seem more like one of us. <laughs> All those flowery words, though, to think your heart was so soft. I'm almost jealous. I wish my life fell on such a gentle path. Maybe then they wouldn't be gone. Maybe then there'd be more to the story with them in it as well. Thank you for telling me their last words. For saving what remains of them for one last goodbye. It does mean a lot to me. For what it's worth, you... You're annoying. You're hopelessly positive. You're empty-headed. You're completely deranged. And yet I can't hate you. I can't. Blame yourself, then. If you don't want to be alone, then so be it. I won't permit you to. As for what that means, I suppose only an idiot like you would understand. <laughs> Fine. I'll play by your games for a little while. I'll at least give you a time. But if revenge ever becomes more important to me, I'll take it. Simple as that. <laughs> Your baseless confidence is amusing. And yet, maybe it's not completely baseless. <laughs> How ridiculous. Did I really let you finesse me out of this? Convince me out of my own revenge, my sole purpose in still existing? I'm shameless, as shameless as you, that empty-headedness rubbing off on me, like a curse in its purest form. You're simply impossible. An opponent I can't beat. How frustrating. You will 
bear the weight of my revenge with the responsibility of backing up those words you said with more than an empty-headed threat. <sighs> we'll see how far you can go to quell this feeling. I will be done with this. Or perhaps you are right, and you will win. But what does winning even mean? <laughs> the hell if I know.